Okay, we're out here on the barbecue patio, and we're going to do some shepherd's pie today. It should be really good. Um, we're going to do it here on the Camp Chef. So um, we'll start doing that right now. Okay, we got the cast iron uh, skillet on the camp chef. We're going to put some oil in here. A couple tablespoons. Um, put the um, onion. I'm going to put some celery in. Some people don't. I like a little celery. Get a little more flavor. Wait to uh, get these a little soft and then I'll, I'll put the uh, beef in. All right, we'll let that cook for a little bit. That's all good and caramelized there. So let's add the beef in. some water in there that'll help them um, get the hamburg broke up all right we'll let this uh cook for a while i'll break it up a little bit be right back okay we got it all nice and broke up here let it cook um this i got from uh sam's the meat uh, hamburg in the 10 pound roll, uh, 90 10. Uh, I added some water to it too, here so it doesn't dry out. And uh, gonna add some uh, okay, we're gonna add some uh, garlic. I'm gonna put a little over a teaspoon of garlic in here. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. All right. Looks like it's cooking good here. We'll let it cook down some more and then uh, add all our other stuff, the seasonings in, in here. All right. All right, it's uh, cooked down a little bit here. I'm going to add some more stuff to it here. Um, I got about a three quarters of a teaspoon of pepper. A teaspoon of salt. Going to take it easy on the salt here because I got um, got um, better than bullion. Beef base, put some of that in there. Got a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, the W sauce. And we have some, uh, about three tablespoons of, uh, of uh, ketchup.
I know my arm's going across the camera here. It's looking good. Smelling pretty good there. Let that stuff cook right in there. I think I'm going to put a little bit more water in there. So I'm going to have a total of probably two cups of water. I have the Camp Chef on just a little bit below medium. Alright. Now I got vegetables. I got um, mixed vegetables. You can just use peas and carrots, but... They were frozen. It's all pretty good here. It's uh, corn, peas, beans, and peas and corn carrots. All right, we'll let that cook in for a little bit. Okay, it's nice and cooked in now. Vegetables are nice and soft, so I'm gonna do some uh, gravy, make the gravy for it. Got um, two tablespoons of um, flour with um, water. Alright, we'll let this set up and then uh, we're going to get the mashed potatoes ready. I'm just doing instant. This, what I'm trying to do is make this everything's easy so that one pot and uh, so you can do it at a campsite or out camping. Alright. I'll get the mashed potatoes and uh, get them ready and be right back. Okay, I got my mashed potatoes here. I'm going to add some uh, half and half. Get them nice and smooth here. A little more. Okay, we're going to put some uh, Parmesan in it. This shakes uh, about a quarter of a cup in there. I think I need some more. And listen to one guy said to put an egg in it. I'm going to try that today. Shouldn't be hot enough to cook it right now. Add it all that. Okay. Spoon it over the uh, sticky potatoes.
bit of fork to smooth it out. Don't want to try not to get the, the carrots and stuff in here. I got two uh, two bags of instant potato. All right, now we're going to take um, cheese and put a little bit of cheese over the top. Put some cheddar. You don't need a whole bunch, just enough to put some cheese up there. We'll take this out to the, to the pizza oven and put it in. Okay, I got the pizza oven set at 350. So it'll probably take about 30 minutes here on the pizza oven. I got a pizza screen in there to keep it up off the bottom of the, of the stone. And then we're going to take this bad boy and put it right in here. All right, there we go. We'll keep monitoring it here, make sure we don't burn it up. So uh, we'll be right back. All right, we're back out here. Uh, check on the, it's been about 20 minutes. It's starting to brown. The cheese is melted. Probably another 15, 20 minutes. Um, we'll get back with you on that. That pizza oven's uh, doing really good and uh, Cam Chef, I really love. Uh, Yukon, I got at Walmart. And uh, got a pizza oven on uh, Amazon. So, all right. Next time I talk to you, we will be, have it out of the oven. Okay, we went and pulled it out of the pizza oven. It looks pretty good. Started browning. I don't want it real dark burnt I mean you can do yours the way you wanna um, looks good let's see here let's see if I can cut a slice I let it cool a little bit here so hopefully it stays together There we go. It stayed together pretty good. Just a little bite right there.
That was a little warm. <laughs> really good, really good flavor. It's really nice with the green beans and everything in there. Really good. All right. Yeah, if you guys really like this, um, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I, I'll list the uh, ingredients down below, what we had. So uh, talk to you guys later. N next video, hopefully it's uh, another good um, cooking video or, uh, or travel. You guys have a good one now. Bye.